don't get into power struggles. Make the um, problem my problem, not their problem. So if I see um, a student who is not working, I might say, what do you need from me to help you get started on this assignment? And, um, you know, they'll look at me and they say, well, I just need to get it. I just need to do it. And I say, oh, okay, well, how are you going to do that? You've got a different conversation. But if I walk up to them and say, you need to get started on that assignment, it's like, I am. And then you're in an adversarial um, relationship already. So it's always, what do you need from me? How are you going to do that? So that it's not, I see you're doing this and I need it stopped. Because when you start getting into that, um, you are setting yourself up for failure because they are going to dig their heels in. Um, if somebody is in class and they're um, trying to sidetrack, the co they're talking when you're talking um, and you're trying to give uh, instructions, I might say, you know, I'm really distracted right now because um, there's uh, side conversations going on in the room and, um, and in order for me to give these directions, I need it quiet. Oh, okay. Thanks for asking for quiet. We'll give it to you. And they do because we've built that relationship already. We've started it. And so if I say, this is my problem and this is what I need, they can do it. And if they continue to do it, then um, I can invite them to into the hall. I can do, I can take it one step further, but I rarely need to take these things further because um, students respect the, um, the climate and the culture that's been set up in the room and the norms that we've set as a class. And so they don't need to do that. And this is about me. It's not about them. You know, this isn't about you talking. This is about, it's distracting me. So those things really help.